Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing fine and are taking care of yourselves. My name is Kanika Tandon and I'm here with the video of class 6th English 2nd. In our last video we have started doing uh, reading the chapter chapter number 7 all American slurp and in today's video we are going to complete the explanation part of the chapter. Starting our today's video with the quick review of what we uh, read in the chapter in our last video was the story chapter number seven the all american slurp is actually a story about how a family from china have actually have recently moved to america and finds very difficult to cope with the culture that that uh, that is followed in the american places so in this story uh, the writer of the story is Lenzi Namioka which is actually a, a story of his, her own right Manab, she has actually uh, went through uh, she has actually gone through the whole incident so what happens this Chinese family Namioka family was actually invited by Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Gleason who were the American family living next door and it was very hard for them to eat uh, celery because that was the first thing that they served for the before the dinner those were the starters and they the way they prepared their food was very different from what Americans uh, mm -hmm prepared so they were sitting on a sofa and having celery which is actually it was very actually difficult for them to eat because they had never eaten it raw before they used to cook like us indians like we indians do so let us read uh, the continuation of the chapter on page number 96 I pulled the string out of my stock this is Lemsin Amyoka the girl of the Chinese family she's talking Z zip 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 my brother followed suit zip 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 to my left my parents were taking care of their own stocks and so what happened when they were eating the sto stocks they were actually making some noise which is mentioned as zip 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 suddenly i realized that there was dead silence except for our zipping looking up i saw that the eyes of everyone in the room were on my on our family Mr. and Mrs. Gleason, their daughter Meg, who was my friend, and their neighbors, the Baddles, they were all staring at us as we busily pulled the strings of our salary. So what happened? Since they did not know how to eat it, they were eating it while making noise. And when they were making some making the noise, they realized that everybody sitting in the living room was actually looking at them like how they are how they were eating mrs gleason mr and mrs gleason their daughter meg and every and the their neighbors the battles they were all of them were actually looking at them because they were making noise and having their food that wasn't the end of it mrs gleason announced that the dinner was served and invited us to the dining table it was lavishly covered with plates of platters of food but we couldn't see any chairs around the table so we helpfully carried over some dining chairs and sat down all the other guests guests were stood there so now what happened mrs gleason actually announced that the dinner was ready and as they went to the dining room they did not see any chair that were around the table but the food was actually kept on the table so if we see this we'll also do this we'll take some chairs and uh, put them around the table and sit and eat and they did the same they also carried the chair and kept it around the table and sat there but what happened but the rest of the people were standing they were still standing Mrs. Gleason bent down and whispered to us, This is a buffet dinner. You help yourself to some food and eat it in the living room. And what happened? That this is, is a this is a buffet dinner. You know what is the meaning of buffet dinner? Where there all of the food is kept at one place. You take your plate, take the food and sit somewhere else and eat. Like we do in our in the marriages that we go in. That is buffet dinner. 
you help yourself to some food and eat it in the living room and what they had to do they just have to had to take the food in their plates and go and sit in the drawing room and eat there our family beat a retreat back to the sofa as it if chased by enemy soldiers and how or how did they they were so embarrassed that they stood from there and ran as if some enemies are behind them for the rest of the evening too ashamed to go back to the dining table i nursed a bit of potato salad on my plate and she was so she was so embarrassed to go back to the dining table what did she do she had a potato and ate it only next day meg and i got on the school bus together i wasn't sure how she would feel about me after the spectacle uh, spectacle our family had made of themselves at the party and now this girl lensey is actually afraid to go and meet meg who was her friend and the daughter of mrs mr and mrs gleason because she thinks that he she has create she and her family had created a scene last night in the dinner but she was just the same as usual and the only reference she made to the party was i hope you and your folks got enough to eat last night and what did they talk about they just talked about that uh, the food was enough for them to eat and you and your folks folks means your family members your family members had enough to eat you certainly didn't take very much mom never tries to figure out how much food to prepare she just puts everyone everything on the table and hopes for the best and the may and then meg says that my mother does not know how much to food to prepare she keep she prepares a lot and then keep it on the table but i guess that you did not take much i began to relax the gleason's dinner party wasn't so different from a chinese meal after all my mother also puts everything on the table and hopes for the best and then just to make sh- just to make meg comfortable Lin- lency lency also said that it happens with everybody it's okay this american style is not very different from the chinese style and we eat like this only she was just uh, saving herself from a from an embarrassment so she said it this way and her mother also prepares a lot of food and she does not know how much it will get it will be eaten So the story continued with the narrator's family inviting the Gleasons for the dinner. The Gleasons found it difficult to eat with the chopsticks. They felt so uncomfortable as the narrator's family had felt at their place. The narrator discovered to her pleasant surprise that some things were common between the two families. If the Chinese loved their soup, the Americans loved their milk shakes. And how the story continues as Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Gleason were in, had invited I had invited them to their family. It was now um, the Chinese family's turn to invite the Gleasons, and then the Gleasons also find it dif- found it difficult to eat with the chopsticks because they were not used to eat with the chopsticks. And this is how it continues. And now, and then Lancy actually discovered that Americans actually slurp their milkshakes shakes as they slurp their soup. with this this chapter is over and i'm going to take the exercise and the question answers in my next video uh, till then i request all of you to please complete your uh, word meanings in the notebooks and i'll see you all in the, my next video till then take care and keep studying